Hi guys, Dom here and welcome back to my channel. So I, this is my real hair by the way, I changed my hair. My eyes a little look wonky because um, on this video we're going to attempt a skull makeup tutorial. And this can be for kids, this can be for adults who have to like uh, play guardian for the kids when they're doing their um, Halloween walks or you know just in general get a group of friends together and go out dressed as skulls I feel like that's something I would do yeah I'm not sure if I advise that I wanted the deep Rihanna red and I actually got it and I didn't use my hair dye that I used before which was overtone which is a color deposit both of these are color deposits, but I used freaking Arctic Fox this time. Um, not sponsored. Anything that I mentioned, I am not sponsored. I just, I've been trying out different products and I love, you know, beauty products, games, art stuff. I used Arctic Fox's Poison for the red. On here it doesn't look red, but the base tone on this, as you can see, and the fox is kind of orange. It looks really orange in, on um, the monitor and in person. I used huh, Sunset Orange for um, a base with the red. I've seen different color combos with the Poison and Sunset Orange together, and it wasn't as deep as I wanted the color to be. I wanted it to be more of a, um, a less aerial red this time and more um, vampy red, more witchy red, I guess. And that works for me anyway. And then I mixed in a teeny little bit of purple rain. I have a different purple and I forgot what it's called, um, but this one is a it looks blue on camera obviously the base color of this is blue but since this is already a purple with a base of blue it makes um it makes it easier to make this type of burgundy deep pomegranate type of red um yeah so if you have a color wheel um you can take two colors i forgot how do you look at a color wheel oh my god i had to take color theory and what we did was we painted every single color the the shading the lighting all of that stuff we painted every single color that you could possibly think of so we knew how to mix our colors but for the life of me i can't think of it right now i'll put it on the screen somewhere um when you take like an orange and um a red and a splash of purple you get kind of like um in the magenta purpley red family and that's how i came up with this color i trimmed my edges because they looked a hot mess they still do my hair is naturally curly um and i'm always like fighting that these are vegan and cruelty free it's semi-permanent so after ooh, how many washes These were like about $10.50 at Sally's, somewhere around there. They have bigger bottles, which are probably like that much bigger, that cost like $15. Bucks. But even so, even if I had to buy those three bottles, and it'll be maybe around $45 bucks for those three big bottles, they would still last me longer than the other hair color, which I have, which was overtone. Um... Price-wise, I feel like this is a better payoff because you have different sizes to choose from. And Overtone does too, but it's not... It's it's like 15 bottles. I mean, 15 bottles. $15 for a, a container, like maybe that big. Um, a sample one is probably like about 10 bucks or so. It's like, so you're already paying double. Then they have like a deep conditioning thing that you use, which I think has the best payoff, but that's like 30 by itself. You get a kit, it costs about 50 after shipping, uh, shipping, shipping, after shipping and handling, it's about 60. 
So to me, that's kind of pricey. Um, it, it all depends on how often you dye your hair. I was dyeing my hair like every week because it's a conditioner and I just feel like this will work out a lot better. Um, they have a multitude of colors in both, but I kind of like the different ways you can mix Arctic Fox, even though you can mix Overtone too. I feel like the mixing is better with Arctic Fox. Um, just because of the texture of it. Like, Arctic Fox is kind of gooey. I don't want to say that. And, um, Overtone's kind of, like, gooey, but it's not, like, consistent, if that makes sense. I like both products, but I feel like I like Arctic Fox better. We'll see how this color washes out. But anyway, after that color review, I have prepped my eyes and my eyebrows with, um, stuff yeah I want to put on my hoodie because I'm just wearing my hoodie but we're gonna have a PMA type of day and we're gonna see how well we can do a skull I don't know I don't know how this is gonna go but I felt like this would be better especially if you're wearing like dark clothes when you're going um <laughs> trick-or-treating god my hair is like poofy so all I did was prep the eyes what we are going to do is look for a glam skull. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a glam skull if you don't want to. Give me that. Definitely not this NYX. Oh, this, I mean NYX. I keep saying NYX. This e.l.f. eyeliner. Best thing ever. Last all day. Comes off with, um, an oil-based type of, um, makeup remover. I use the Pond's makeup remover, like the cold, the old school cold cream because it sucks it at my face because I'm getting older, you know. Huh, I don't look my age. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a gray eyeliner and huh, where's the accent? I'm gonna take the gray eyeliner and I'm gonna go around the nose and this is kind of waterproof and glittery. But it's a gel. Let's try the elf. Oh my god, I forgot the mirror again. I need to reprep my eyeballs again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the palette, which nobody talks about. I don't know. Kat Von D. Inter <laughs> Sorry, that was bright. Interstellar. Man, she's got some holographic BS going on with that. And we're gonna dip into the color Astrological. So that's like um a brown. This palette's pretty I wanna say neutral. It's kinda neutral. And we're gonna do this as a transition shade, which is up here. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. I did line my eyes a little bit. The started to set. No, 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 no. It looks almost exactly like the color from the other video. From the fairy makeup video. If you haven't seen it, please be sure to watch it. I don't know why my audio wasn't like aligned either. I just got so pissed off at it. Um it probably unsnapped from each other which is a pain in the ass to fix because usually if you've gone too far into editing and you'd have to undo all of that like mm, I need to find a better way to, to to get my audio together it was a little off and I don't know why like it's like halfway through the video and I didn't notice it till I started to see that my lips weren't sinking. It's bad enough I talked like I'm a ventriloquist anyway, but that one was really, 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 really bad. So, I can still do that. Take the, take the dusty ass setting powder from Maybelline. I'll pop this under the eye. I swear we won't leave it on there that long. We're gonna take this purple, which is caroled. 3 a.m. I like how on her shading or shadows you flip it and it's the color. They're right there. They're right there. 
But we're gonna take the color 3 a.m., which is like a purpley shade. Dust that off. And we're gonna go on our lid with that color. And yeah, this is gonna be a messy purple skull. So, going back to a medium eyeshadow brush, we are going to go into what color is this? Nightcrawler. I mean, that's pretty pigmented. Let's get that word right. And we're gonna blend that up into our crease line. I do the weirdest faces when I'm putting on <laughs> eye makeup. It's so terrible. Okay, we're gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette and go for this purple that fucking looks blue on me. So maybe it'll show up on camera as purple. I don't know. It doesn't wanna show up on the brush. It's pretty pretty. We're going for a messy smoky eye. There's nothing like strategic about this. We are going to take some cream eyeshadow base. I am using the high voltage eye primer in skin. I guess it's a, I don't know. It's a yellow base primer from the old high voltage collection. I still have this. To me, this reminds me of like costume makeup, the way that it blends out. And considering I don't necessarily do this often with the concealer, we're gonna take our time. But I never really understood why you would put this on top after you work so hard to blend, but it all melts together, so then that made more sense. Oh, we're doing it in layers. Excruciating. Tiring layers. Next we are going to go into the Serpentina palette. So we're going to take the Loose Glitter in Profit, which I love using as an inner highlight sometimes. I'm like, I like blinding people. They're like, your inner highlight's so pretty. I'm like, thank you. It's <laughs> It's so pretty, I cannot get over this. Okay, that's enough for that eye. That is some strongness. We're gonna put it in the inner corner too, so it'll look all right in the end. And yeah, that's where I got to so far. So what I did was, I. <laughs> drew some eyeliner around my eyebrows and then I brought the purple and the black and just smoked it down at the bottom but I took some eyeliner just like a pencil eyeliner we'll go back in and highlight this um, and I did kind of like half circles underneath my eyes to make them look a little bit more sunken in but what like a simple design if you want to do like a swirl design you can I just took one of my blue pixel highlighters I mean eyeliners but it's not like black and then just did that yay okay god that face looks attractive right That's like a wolf. We're gonna go back into that same black that we were using.
Don't worry, it's gonna look nice. I hope. <laughs> It's always one side that looks better than the other. Damn it. It's like, <laughs> that's what kept me from looking human. My hairline. <laughs> this looks wonderful. Looks a little crazy, but we're gonna go ahead and outline the skull teeth now. So we'll actually look like teeth and not just like I put a bunch of dots on my face. Which I kinda did. I am back. Yet again. We we're gonna fix that uneven cheek though. Like it's very unfortunate. I dropped an eyeliner lid down the bathroom sink drain. Oh, it made me angry. <laughs> that looks crazy. That looks glamorous. I think we're even as we're gonna get, Steven. I'm a bold skull. I am a skull teeple. There we go. I'm like, why doesn't this guy want to highlight? Maybe I'm just blind. weird this is actually liquid lipstick it's vivid matte liquid lipstick in the color 45 vivid why well, they just name it vivid kind of backwards I'm just like hmm let's add some shit hmm. nice for some reason this smells like vanilla. I've never noticed that. Just the only one I'm putting it all over my face. This is my finished skull look. Could it have been better? Yes, this is my first time doing a skull. Skulls are super underrated. Everybody's like, everybody does a skull, but I didn't know so much goes into the skull. That's just like the best thing ever. I could just stand there like this. <laughs>